the export to AutoCAD or export to DWG command um, will export our model data to plain simple AutoCAD drawings requiring no object enabler to be able to read them. Prior to the 2025 version this was just done to the, the folder where the 3D models were. We now have the ability to select a folder where we want to export our drawings to. Um, so we're not having to then go find them amongst projects or in the cloud. These can now be exported to a, a, a user-defined um, folder. Um, depending on how many DWGs you, you know, or 3D models you've got will depend on how long the export takes. But once it's finished, you'll actually see that all of the models will appear in our folder, including the ones from subfolders, if there was any subfolders, or with the underscore ACAD, so we know they're the ones that are actually native AutoCAD files. A customer request um, for the line manager was the fact that our sheet numbers would not allow preceding zeros. So it was that we wanted a three character sheet number so that we could start with 001. Previously, if you put 001, the sheet that it would actually generate would be sheet one. Um, now, as you can see, it will naturally give the sheet number as 001. Um, that was just on a, a single line, but obviously it will also work if we're using the auto sheet. So if we set uh, auto sheet settings up here for the sizes and we run auto sheet um, for this particular um, line group, um, what we can do is we can actually split the whole of this line group down and it will generate sequential um, sheets starting at 001. So it's just splitting it down at the moment, putting our color overrides on um, so that we know um, which section of the pipe is on which sheet. And then once that's finished, we can go back in and as you can see, it's generated there um, all of our sheets um, with preceding zeros. We have improved the export supports command by um, allowing us to have more control over the naming of the Excel file that we export. We can now automatically add the date and the time um, that the Excel um, was created to its name. This means that every time we export it, we get um, a unique named file and we can manage and control the revisions. Um, also, because of the .NET 8 um, update, we've actually increased the speed of this command as well. So it still takes us out to the same thing with all of our dimensions and the thumbnails um, for our supports but this now happens a lot quicker with intelligent naming. In the 2025 version of the Power Pack for Plant 3D, we've improved the Copy Project Drawings command. Um, prior to this, we had the option where you could select the project, um, point to the project XML file, um, and if you clicked OK after doing this, it would basically copy absolutely every single drawing. Um, other than that, you'd have to select drawings one by one. We've now had the ability to select a folder. So if we wanted to say in this project, just go into the um, Plant 3D models, we can go into there. Notice that all the drawings are actually in subfolders, but it's scanned through and it's found all the drawings in there. So what we can then do is we can click OK. This will now start to copy all the drawings from all the subfolders within that folder, even if there were nested folders in there, it's not a problem. Um, once it's finished transferring the drawings, it will launch Excel and it will give us a nice feed out to say if it's been successful or not. If any have failed, it's usually a units mismatch between metric and imperial. And as you can see here, it's copied the folder structure across with the models in as well. We've had a few comments about the line manager um, color overrides. Um, so when you run the line manager and you split your drawing down, it will color code the sections accordingly. Sometimes um, the, the um, color overrides are left switched on. Um, so when you open a drawing, it can be a bit unclear. So what we've done in 2025, we've made sure that um, when the model is loaded, if the color overrides are actually on, then what we get is we get a nice little message telling you that they're actually on just in case you're looking and wondering why the colors are not what you're expecting we can then simply go um, to our line manager to the color overrides you can see that they're on and we can switch them off and as you will see the model will switch back to the relevant colors the power pack for plant 3d automatically adds additional um, information to the database um, in order to function 
Um, this would normally ask you, the project would ask you each time you launched a project if you wanted to add this functionality, and it would do this every time. We've now had the functionality to be able to say no to configuring the power pack for Plant 3D, and will not be asked again unless you try to run one of the power pack functions. The idea of a tag wizard is if we've copied drawings from another project and we want to reuse them, but maybe the tags are not the way that we want them, we can launch a tag wizard and we can select all the tags inside of here from the PNIDs to the Plant 3D drawings. I mean, there I'm just going to use the PNIDs um, just for speed, and we can open up all the tags that are in our PNIDs and then we can filter them we can filter them by the equipment so we can look at this as the pumps etc um, if you look at the pumps here you can see that the pumps actually have a Q prefix um, I might not want that I might want these to actually have a P so I can actually run a find and replace and we've got the ability here to very quickly um, set in here um, I want all my Q's to become P's I can replace one at a time so therefore I can verify each one I can click replace all click to replace all and you see we've gone green this is because I've now resolved the the tag name and I know that I've updated them I've got one here which I'm not quite happy with and what we can do is I can still come in and we can click the little pencil just next to it here for this one that's got the A and we can change that to whichever value we want if we realize we've overwritten a value that we don't want to overwrite for instance here we can click the undo button and it will revert it back once we've done that let's apply a little warning just because it can take a bit of time depending on how many tags it needs to update it will update them once we close it we can see now that our tags have actually been updated in our PNID as well what we can also do which is quite useful with the tag wizard is we can actually save the state so for instance when we first launched this if we want to save a state we can save that out we can do what we want if we want to revert it back we can simply do a load, so therefore there's no chance of us making mistakes.